911, what is the address of your emergency? Okay. Which, what phone number are you calling from? Okay, what's your name? What's your name? But you don't see anything, right? Could you tell if it was coming from a certain house? Right. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. All right. Um, I've got officers dispatched to that. Um, if you hear anything else, feel free to call 911. My name is Andrew Patton. I've been a public safety dispatcher with the city of Brentwood for two and a half years. It could be anything. It could be a missed dial. It could be a pocket dial. It could be a medical call, domestic. People usually don't call 911 when they're, you know, having a good day. My name is Jackie Jackson. I've been here at the city of Brentwood for almost 23 years. I've been in this line of work for almost 25 total. First thing that goes through your mind is, you know, it could be feast or famine. It could be as far as something that somebody calling for. They're disabled or they have an animal stuck in the tree or it could be as much as a severe car wreck. You know, it could be a shooting, it could be a stabbing, an armed robbery. Uh, you just never know when it rings. A lot of times you're quickly assessing what the call is, and then let's say you have multiple 911 calls at one time, you're assessing what it is in order to determine how quickly you need to respond or to like dismiss the call. Hi, my name is Kathleen Watkins. I've been in the field of public safety dispatching for 32 years, um, 22 years as a 911 dispatcher and 10 as a supervisor. It is important for callers to listen to the dispatcher's instructions because the quicker you answer the questions that you're being asked, the quicker help is going to get to you. Um, dispatchers are trained to ask very direct questions, in turn hoping to get very direct answers back from a caller so that way we can get help quicker. 911, what is the address of your emergency? The most important question a dispatcher will ask when they answer a 911 call is what is the address of your emergency? They think the dispatcher always knows where they are. And yes, we do have a lot of tools and resources that can help us identify where they are. Sometimes those tools aren't exact. And another thing is sometimes the emergency might not be where the person's calling from. That's why the dispatcher will ask 911, what is the address of your emergency? 911, what is the address of your emergency? Oh, we have in Crockett Park, queue number seven. The goalie is down and he's having a t-shirt. Okay, so you're at Crockett Park. Crockett Park, three seven. Okay. You know approximately how? Okay, do you know approximately how old they are? Uh, he's, uh, he's a 15-year-old. You're 16. 15-year-old male. Male. In retrospect, we actually are the true first responders on the scene of any call that comes in. People just think, oh, you just answer the phone and you say 10-4 and that sort of thing, and that's not really how it is. You're the person that's hearing the people screaming on the other end of the phone. There's a lot of emotion when people are calling 
there's a lot of emotion that's mm -hmm. attached to it. I know I remember calls. I remember calls that I've taken that have been hotter than others or had a different response than others. If we got a hot call, um, we would talk about it amongst ourselves. Um, I could try to talk about it with my husband, but because he wasn't in the industry, he didn't really, I don't think he really understood like the intensity of it. I guess I'm thankful in my time, I've not had a call yet with screaming kids or something active, something that's ongoing at this moment um, that, you know, the sounds of those calls stick with you, but I certainly have some that I remember. Do most people use 911 for life-saving purposes? Uh, no. I'd say more than 80% of the calls are actually probably not 911 related. They use it for the wrong purposes. Uh, 911 was set up for emergency purposes only, but everybody has gotten to the point where they'll call 911 for just about anything. What we consider an emergency and what um, the public deems as an emergency is not the same. And we're not going to tell you to hang up and call a different number. We're going to answer. We're going to help you anyway. But it's also very frustrating as dispatchers when you get a 911 call that's like, I am out of gas on the highway. Like, what can you do? I lock my keys in my car. Like, there's lots of things people call for that are not true emergencies, and they can call the non-emergency line for that purpose. Uh, I think more of it is an educational issue that needs to be addressed with the public uh, to let them know exactly what 911 is actually for, and that there's a regular 10-digit phone number they could use to call for non-emergency needs. 911 is for life and death emergencies. That's basically it.